petitions to address the plenary. Mr. Secretary General, you now have the floor. Even as we witness devastating climate impacts causing havoc across the world, we are still not doing enough, nor moving fast enough, to prevent irreversible and catastrophic climate disruption. Nor are we doing enough to capitalize on the enormous social, economic, and then environmental opportunities of climate action. Emissions must decline by 45% from 2010 levels to 2030 and be net zero by 2050. Renewable energy will need to supply half to two thirds of the world's primary energy by 2050 with the corresponding reduction in fossil fuels. In short, we need a complete transformation of our global energy economy as well as how we manage land and forest resources. The majority of countries most responsible for greenhouse gas emissions are behind in their efforts to meet their Paris pledges. So it is plain we are way off course. We need more action and more ambition, and we absolutely have to close this emissions gap. If we fail, the Arctic and the Antarctic will continue to melt. Corals will bleach and then die. The oceans will rise. More people will die from air pollution. Water scarcity will plague a significant proportion of humanity, and the cost of disasters will skyrocket. It is our job here in Katowice to finalize the Paris Agreement Work Programme, the rule book for implementation. I remind all parties that this is a deadline you set for yourselves, and it is vital you meet it. We need a unifying implementation vision that sets out clear rules, inspires action and promotes raised ambition based on the principle of equity, and common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities in light of different national circumstances. We have no time for limitless negotiations. A completed work program will unleash the potential of the Paris Agreement. Thank you, Mr. Secretary-General.